Right, today's literacy lesson, we're doing informal and formal letters, which we did actually start last week. If you remember the difference between the two, an informal letter is generally a friendly letter where you know the person that you're writing to, and the language as such is quite, in, uh, quite uh, friendly. Whereas a formal letter is generally more professional or business related, and quite often you wouldn't know who you're writing to. If you don't know who you're writing to in the letter, then you start off politely by saying, Dear Sir or Madam, and you'd finish that when you don't know who you're writing to by writing yours sincerely. If you do know the name of the person you're writing to and it's a formal letter, then you'd write their name and you'd finish it by saying yours faithfully. Toby Toys, Victoria Industrial Estate, Penventon, Cornwall. 88XX1QQ, 1 Southwood Close, Rothley, Suffolk, 31st of March. Dear Sir, Madam, I saw your advertisement in the Rothley Echo and would be grateful if you would send me your catalogue. I would also like to take advantage of your free gift offer for my early reply. Yours faithfully, Charlie Gore. 6 Bramley Gardens. Hi Lee. I'm having a barbecue on Saturday and I'd love you to come if you can make it. It will start at about 2 o'clock. Looking forward to seeing you, Jack. 14 Cross Street, Colbury, Anyshire, ANY36XX, 10th of August. Dear Joe, just a quick line to congratulate you on passing your exams. I knew you could do it. Well done. I'll be up at the weekend to congratulate you personally when I just might have a little treat for you. Love. Auntie Karen. Editor. I'm writing to reply to F.J's letter regarding the danger spot at the junction of Oxford Avenue and Cambridge Crescent. I live at that junction and have witnessed one serious accident and several near misses. In every case, it is the speed of the cars that is the problem. Drivers use this route as a shortcut, but it was never intended to carry so many cars. I think speed bumps should be installed immediately. P. Jones. 14 Mayfield Drive. Nutford. Wessex, 6XP, 9PDQ, 23rd of September. Dear Sir, Madam, I bought my son a Mega Play game console for his birthday. At first, he enjoyed playing with it, but after a while it developed an annoying fault. Sometimes, halfway through the game, the screen goes blank. After that, he has to switch it off and start again. However, the same thing often happens again. In view of this, I would like a replacement console or my money back. Yours faithfully, Keith Pratt. So in your literacy pack, if you now, after we've now looked at the letters, if you turn to, I think it's the third page, we're going to be filling in this table section by section, and we're going to do all the entirety of one letter to start with. Please pause the video after each one, and then you can see what you should have written or something that should be similar to what I've written. Each time, if you've written something similar, then use a colour pencil and give it a tick. Look at the letter from Charlie Gore. What is the purpose? Why has he written this letter? How does he begin his letter? What is his greeting? How does he end the letter? What does he say before his name? Finally, is the language formal or informal? How do you know? Now pause the video while you answer those questions. Then we'll go through the answers. The purpose of his letter was to order a catalogue. The greeting was Dear Sir, Madam. The ending was Yours Faithfully. The language for the letter is formal. It's polite and to the point. He also doesn't know who he's writing to. Now do the same for Jack, Auntie Karen, P. Jones and Keith Pratt's letter. Now pause the video and fill in the rest of the table then we'll go through the answers together. Anything similar to these. The purpose of Jack's letter was to invite a friend to his barbecue. The greeting is highly. The ending, see you Jack. The language is informal. It's friendly and personal language. Auntie Karen, the purpose of her letter is to congratulate her niece or nephew on passing their exams. The greeting is dear Joe. The ending, love Auntie Karen. P. Jones's purpose is to re in replying to F. J.'s letter. 
the ending is P. Jones. It is informal. The heading and finish are informal in his letter. The purpose of Keith Pratt's letter was a letter of complaint about his son's games console. The greeting is Dear Sir Slash Madam. The ending, Yours Faithfully. The language is formal. He doesn't know who he's writing to, and it has a formal ending. Over the next week, have a look at the post that arrives in your house and see how much of it is formal and how much of it is informal. I would imagine that the majority of the posts you receive is formal posts these days. Have a discussion with your parents about why the majority of posts is formal and what informal means people use to communicate with each other nowadays.